Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. This week we worked in the garden and also we're planting a lawn in our front yard. So come along and I'll show you what we've accomplished. <laughs> so you're Sawyer! Oh, help, aren't you, Sawyer? Okay. So we got it pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so the goal is to get all these posts in around our garden beds. And then we can take off this netting. Um, we're going to put netting around the posts, I should say, uh, to make it deer proof, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> so, a lot of our ground back here, it's either clay Hi. or it's sand. And here you can see, I don't know if you can see that, there's a lot of sand content down that. <laughs> down the hole. What we're using today is this Deer X, and you can see it's seven feet by a hundred feet, three quarter inch mesh, and it's supposed to keep the deer out. And we've got a staple gun and staples. We had put these posts in, and they're relatively inexpensive. They're not perfect by any means. They're kind of different shapes and um, have a little bit of twist in some of them. But we wrapped the mesh around here and stapled, started here, and then just made our way around the garden area and just finished up wrapping it around this one. So we have a little bit of a doorway that's open right now. Um, thinking maybe we can use the previous mesh that you can see we have around the tomatoes, tomato planters, maybe use pieces of that to kind of make a doorway because we're going to need to be able to open and close obviously to get in there and water and take care of things. So we'll see. Hopefully this detours the deer. It's 
very uh, very light you know it's just a little little bit of a barrier hopefully detours them So we got a piece of wood stapled to some of this mesh. We're gonna see if we can make it a door. I need to hold that. Oh, there was a staple. <laughs> <clears throat> we want it up a little bit. Yeah. Not too. Is that the right? Like a. Holding it with my foot. <laughs> I'm holding it taut with my foot. Okay. So now we're thinking we're just going to use these bungees. Is that going to work? Ah, got away. Uh, I was trying to get up towards it. It'd be nice if you had two hands. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Hmm. How's that going to work? Mm -hmm. of it see what happens okay. no but i got three of them so well i don't want to have to do a hundred of them i just want to do one so that you can just go in and yeah hmm we'll keep working on this So we have our tomatoes in these two containers and I'm adding peppers in to be little companion plants. I just planted this one which is a type of jalapeno and then I've got some bell peppers. These are called Big Bertha and we have four of these so I'm going to plant one in here so we'll have two peppers in this container with tomatoes and then three over there in that one. So Tom just did some peas along here like two rows of the seeds so I'm gonna put cucumbers in here and see how far I get down the down the row there so Thinking, it's hard to do. <laughs> um, so how many of these do I have? Oh, it's just no. There's like three and four, so that's gonna be a lot. Hmm. But how far? How close together? Base two to three plants in hills. Four to five inches apart. Or feet? Four to five. Oh, wow. Oh, but it, at least if you can put two to three together, that will help. Okay. These are lemon cucumber. And the other ones I got are burpless. More the traditional ones. I'm used to, anyway. Um, burpless cucumbers. I made up little tags. We got this planting labels, pretty handy. So I made up, had to get a smaller <laughs> Sharpie than what I started with, but got all these labeled to match up with our different seeds. So I've got uh, Chantanay carrots. <laughs> Um, 
some romaine lettuce, Livingston mix lettuce, slow bolt lettuce, which sounds like a good idea. Um, and then the peas that Tom already planted are dwarf gray sugar peas. So we'll have some of those left up, left over. Um, let me know in comments, can you save seeds year to year like how many how many years are seeds good to if you don't use them all the first year so let me know in comments below We got some organic compost to add as a top layer around the vegetables and the seeds so they get some more nutrients. We also used blood meal originally and mixed that in. So now I'm over here doing, I did my row of carrots. And now I'm going to do the Livingston Mix lettuce and the Slow Bolt. So I'm just going to get the seeds in, see how this works. Okay, so this is the Slow Bolt. Oh, well, these seeds are so small. I'm just putting some in my hand. And I built a little trench with my finger, so I'm just kind of putting them in here. And hoping for the best. I know these are going to have to be thinned out because like, I can't place one little seed every little way. And I am by no means a gardener. <laughs> We're just learning and experimenting. Sure, we'll get better. Get better with more experience. I'm just gonna throw a few more in there. This is my slow bolt. That there. Cover it up and we'll water this in and then add the compost. <laughs> These are interesting because the seeds are different colors. So it says it's a mix. So that must be why get a little variety and these are heirloom also by the way the slow bolt and this one Livingston mix all right Sawyer he freaks out if he can't be right right with us you're okay if all these grew we don't Way too much. Should add a little more. We have plenty of seeds. Well, we are out here busting our butts today. It's hot and the wind's coming occasionally. Um, but we're trying to get this project done. We want to get uh, grass planted in our front yard. So let me show you. So here in the front yard, we've been adding this, I call it garden dirt, um, just to, for now to the center section. And we're trying to pull it with this long two by four. 
man, is that hard because <laughs> uh, it's killing me. Um, and then we took some pieces of plywood and we're walking on them and moving them around. You can kind of see the squares here. Um, trying to just pat this down because we don't want it to blow away in the wind and we want to try and keep it even for planting grass. This side of that pile will come and we'll go this way. So we need to pick it up. Okay. Over okay. here. There we go. <sighs> Hold on. I gotta get to where I can do it. And now we got holes right there. If you saw our landscaping video where we had this pile of garden dirt delivered, you'd see we've got quite a bit of it, you know, because it did start over in here with the, with the pile. And we've been digging in on this side as well. So we've used quite a bit, but still have quite a bit to go. So. Um, that's good because we have other planting areas besides the grass area we're trying to do in the front yard. So we now have the grass seed and some turf builder um, mended in with the seed and we've really loaded it so uh, hopefully that gives us a better chance of this growing. Um, we also raked it and did a really good watering but we plan to water you know a lot <laughs> two or three times a day because it's very hot out, um, expecting hot temperatures over the next week. So, fingers crossed, 
we got some grass going.